So in this video, I'm going to showcase Misaka or Biriburi, not because she's new, but she is the best gem character that you should currently get. Also, I make giveaways whenever I hit 1000 subscriber milestones. So whenever I'm hitting 17,000 subscribers, I'm making a giveaway again. So yeah, subscribe. To start off, Misaka is actually very very in game and she costs 1600 gems. She's just like another gem character. She's fairly easily get and honestly, the first gem character that you should get is probably Misaka. Now as you can see, the cooldown on the first ability is insanely low. It's 4 seconds. Now this is really good, though her other abilities are quite slow, except for her fourth ability. Now the big thing with Misaka is that with Kurumi, she's absolutely one of the best characters for spamming. Well, best meaning the fastest. But even without Kurumi, you can spam her abilities quite fast just because of this 4 second cooldown. Her first ability is really fast and really strong for 4 second ability. Her second ability is not as strong as you want her to be with a 16 second cooldown, but it's really fast and you do actually get more range with the ability. Her third ability is like Curtain on Gojo, has a very lasting effect and is actually quite strong. Her fourth ability is really strong and gives you so much energy and it's also very fast. She's like a mini Gojo, though her assist is not that good. As you can see here, one strong hit and then 10 regular hits just like her ultimate. And honestly, it just doesn't deal a lot of damage. Compared to Nezuko, that's like nothing. But since her abilities activate so fast, she pairs up with Kurumi very good. In raids, at least with Kurumi, she's an absolute machine. Whenever you have Kurumi activated, she can spam her first ability so many times, and since her third ability and second ability activate so fast, you can get so much additional damage. Now sure, 1.6 million damage on her first ability isn't that much compared to other first abilities on like meta characters, but it's a 4 second ability that you can spam so much, so it actually adds up to a lot of damage. Her third ability does deal a lot of damage, and you can use it very fast, just one click and then it takes a while for the damage to come in, but that doesn't matter in raids, and then you just can com continue to use moves. That's the same thing with uh, the second ability. You have longer range, so you don't actually have to be standing just near the boss, so you can actually take a distance and maybe survive a bit easier, and sure, her damage on it isn't the best, but since you can spam it and then use more first abilities and third abilities, and it's so fast, it actually adds up to the damage very well. Now, her 1, 2, and 3 abilities doesn't actually provide her with a lot of energy. You mainly get it from the uh, from the mouse ones so that you can actually get more range with and more speed, I guess. Um, but since you can spam her so much whenever you do have Kermia up, you can actually get quite a lot of uh, energy accumulated. And her fourth ability is so good for energy. It gets like one third of the whole Kurumi bar. So as long as you can get your fourth ability every like two, um, two Kurumi rotations, you're set. She's so good for spamming. You can get a move so often and it's actually really good. She isn't as spammable as like uh, some characters due to her energy gain being low, but once you do have Kurumi activated, she is like a spamming machine. She's so fast at spamming. Now, in general, her damage is actually really good. Uh, I can compete with like very top tier uh, characters with Misaka, but you probably won't be able to get as much damage as me because without Kurumi, she's a bit worse, but she's still one of the best characters for as a gem character for beginners. She actually does have like a lot of damage for beginners and yeah it's just pretty good aoe very fast you don't need like specific skills or specific stats to use her so she's actually very good for you to use in early game and in late game honestly she's not too bad there either in dimensions she's actually pretty good. She does have a speed boost, so she does have some sort of mobility. No dash, but she does have a speed boost, so she's 
fine for speedrunning, but she's actually like a better choice if you want to survive and like actually beat the dimension for newer players. Because she's actually pretty easy to survive with, she has good skills to actually like spam with the first ability, and her fourth ability is very strong, should kill everything that you have in front of you, as long as you don't play like dimension way above your level, uh, like you got carried or something. Uh, so your fourth ability should kill everything, and it does have quite a long ra uh, range. In this dimension run specifically, I did not play that good. It was my first completed attempt, so it was like, yeah, I can definitely do better. And you could see that in some of the uh, enemies I didn't kill when I had to go back and everything like that. So sometimes it just didn't get a good run. And, I, and the boss, you can see later, that, well, I didn't actually get... Uh, Kurumi activated for the boss, and that's what you usually want to do. For the first boss, you want to have Kurumi just below the pet energy, so you do get Kurumi activated once you're in the boss, and then you do want to get, well, Kurumi activated again uh, just before the next boss. But I didn't get that, so I could probably get like a 140 time almost with Misaka. Maybe not 140, maybe like 145. She's almost on the level where Chainsaw Man is. And Chainsaw Man is like a raid character, and honestly, Misaka is like as good as him in raids and dimensions. Just not as good as, as an assist. So Misaka is almost as good as Chainsaw Man, and he's she's a gem character. So yeah, Misaka is definitely a good pick if you want to get a gem character, which you do want to get. You do want to get a good character in the beginning. Misaka is fantastic for very quick damage. So in a speed rate, she's actually really, really good. In a boss rush, she's fine for the first boss kill and also the second boss kill because you have your assists. But your third boss kill is actually quite slow because you don't have your ultimate, you don't have Kurumi activated, you don't have assists. So it's a bit of a balance because she does have ways where she can deal a lot of damage when she can spam. But when she can't spam, when her energy isn't up, when she doesn't have Kurumi, you can't spam. So in boss rush, you could get better times with other characters, but compared to other gem characters, no way. Like, unless you have good stats already and like a Kurumi pet, like no way you're getting better times than someone else than, with, than uh, Misaka. Diablo maybe, but Diablo is like the second best character, so either way, Diablo or Misaka, you should buy any of those two. But yeah, Misaka is just a great character, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.